stuff, hell. Welcome to Space Engineers. I'm gonna start off making a new world. I'm gonna do a custom using the Asteroids version. I'm gonna name this the Phil. Mm, let's do Let's Play. And we're gonna make sure it's survival. We don't need a description. We've got offline mode. We don't need players. We're gonna keep it safe just so we can have like solar panels and cool stuff. I'm gonna switch the asteroid amount to the highest available. And the infinite means that it's a procedurally drawn world or rendered or whatever. And it allows us to do or go pretty much anywhere. So most of these we're gonna keep the same. We're gonna turn auto healing off because it just eh, it just doesn't seem right. I'm going to turn trash out of removal on and enable spectator. And we're going to keep the tool shake on right now. It's a new feature that they just re-enabled or gave the option to toggle on and off. And it seems like they got most of the bugs taken care of it. So let me go with that. The mods, we're going to be loading some blue clouds. So we've got a nice pretty skybox. Let's get started. And inside of our, our starter ship, one of the first things we're going to do is get into the toolbar config, find the gravity generator, and have a toggle for it. It's probably one of the most power draining systems that we have. If we take a quick peek, we've got 20 hours of fuel time, we turn it off and we're up to 7 days. So we'll leave it on for a second while we run around the ship. One of the first things that we want to do is change the way we look. Pick our custom colors by hitting your use key on that. I'm gonna switch our hue to 200. Saturation. What do we like to put it at? 20 is right. And we're gonna do negative 5. So this kind of nice looking blue color. The next thing we're gonna do is in our toolbar config again, but on our characters. We're going to take some of our character items that we have, remove some of the pieces we don't want, throw in a light armor block because we always use that stuff, and throw in some animations. Yeah, there we go. Looking good. And now we can do waving and everything else and say, Hello, everybody! So you'll notice in this ship we've got a refinery, an assembler, a small cargo container, and our med station, the gravity generator, and a door now. So let's actually flip the gravity off to save some of the power. We'll step outside of our little starter asteroid yellow ship, if we can make it through the door. And we want to change the color of this ship so it's less noticeable. You can hold control down while pushing the middle mouse button. And it'll color things quite a bit faster than it would if you weren't holding control. Now changing it to like even a lighter gray color works too. You just want something so you blend in more to your environment. You can see the ship that you start with is pretty dented up. It's in, not in the best shape, but it's functional. Main components are all working, and that's what really counts. Looks like we got that thing taken care of. So, let's go inside. We're going to drop off a couple tools that we aren't going to use. We're on the realistic settings, so items and inventory take a little bit more. Is that Asteroid all uranium? Oh my gosh. With our dampeners off, we're going to save a little bit of our power, which we don't have much of. It even looks like there's gold over there, too. Wow. I'm going to change the colors of the interior lights while we're drifting. Do, do. Right about there. That 
does look like all uranium. That is crazy. Let's actually go over to this asteroid, the little satellite. Looks like there's gold and uranium. Gold's usually one of the hardest minerals to find, at least, you know, when you're getting started, starting out. Wow. So we're gonna line this stuff right next to the connector. Try to make it easier to grab the stuff, and we'll just go for both of these. Hook our gravity back on so all the minerals fall to the ground. This is just wicked. So with the gravity, we're going right underneath our connector. And everything should shoot down to the bottom so we can pick it up a little bit easier. Disappears right away. Let's go straight into our refinery since it's empty. Let's take the first thing that it finds. You double click it to auto put it into the first container available, which is whatever you opened up, in this case, the connector. Makes things a little bit quicker than trying to drag and drop the stuff around. uranium. Iron in here too. We're going to go into our terminal, open up our GPS, make a new position. I like to label the asteroids that we're at and give them random names. Well, semi-random names. Uh, we'll call this one Cirrus. Make a note that it's got uranium, iron, and the satellite has gold, uranium, probably a few more things. Let's go through the middle of this one and see if we find anything else besides the iron in it. Gotta be pretty close with the hand drill. That looks like all like stone. 
sometimes when it's rendering it looks like platinum or silicon. Oh, speaking of platinum, right there. Make a note. I mean, also has platinum. some of this iron so we can make some some metal sheets so let's get this guy moved over one for the Z axis. Hopefully help us find our, our bearings. So up is gonna be that way. Oh, Z again. Oh below us, okay. Okay. So we're kind of upside down on this rock. That's fine. Let's see if we can find some other material out here. It takes a second to load it. And there's some silicon, more gold. Silicon is going to be extremely useful for computer components and displays and uh, doodads like that. I like to pick up a, about a thousand of every type of material. I'm not, usually not too worried about magnesium. It's mainly for making bullets and it's not a super huge priority in a single player world. Take our ship there and grab some of that silicon. Is it that one there? And on the wrong side of our ship. Let's go double 
check that. Get our energy back up really quick. Let's see how our production's going. Not bad. Wants more iron. isn't taking that out, I don't know. There we go, it looks better. Let's go ahead and grab our torch. Thank you. 
I don't think they use that much power, but just a bad habit. So we need to go check out more of the materials we have available. So we got our silicon, we got some gold. That's the one that we originally mined. Looks like a bunch of iron. Oh, and some silver and nickel. Silver is going to be useful if we want to make reactor components. We'll need that if we ever want to get off of this ship. ship around this. Look at 
bit more to the back side of this ship. That's on top of some. a mining carriage. So probably some of the easiest ships to take out. Oh, I really want to go for that, but I don't have a ship. And besides this one, it's just too dangerous. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you next time.